nearly eight months after Sinead O'Connor's death, her daughter Roisin Waters is paying tribute, performing an emotional cover of her mom's most famous song, Nothing Compares to You. Roisin delivered the Timeless track on Wednesday at New York City's Carnegie Hall. The concert held in memory of Sinead and fellow Irish singer Shane McGowan, who both died last year. Another performer at the event, Amanda Palmer, shared a clip of the moment, revealing there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Every other performer was crammed side of stage to watch this bittersweet majesty unfold. And my God, could you feel the power of musical alchemy in the hall last night? Sinead died of natural causes last summer at 56 years old. The news came just 18 months after the death of her 17-year-old son, Shane, who died by suicide. The Irish singer became a music icon in the 90s, releasing Nothing Compares to You in 1990. The track was an instant number one hit. Nothing can stop these lonely tears from falling. A lot of people, for example, when I started to record and things like that, thought that because I was an Irish woman, I should make these records that were really mystical and really, you know, evocative and everything. The song, originally written by Prince, is often credited with launching her into stardom. Fame, fame, fatal fame, as the man said. It's something that uh, you don't really notice when it happens, you know. It makes your mind go a little bit funny, so when you get famous, you think, oh, I quite like this. Along with her career in music, Sinead became known for her activism. I think that our job as artists is to speak the truth about things uh, and not to keep anything hidden. Both of those sides collided during her infamous performance on Saturday Night Live, when she tore up a picture of the Pope in protest against the Catholic Church. We have confidence in the victory of good over The message I am giving is that the, the church must be brought down, destroyed. Their days are numbered. They must be brought down. So uh, to rip up the picture is what I'm saying. Yes, it is offensive to people because they've built their, li their lives on, on this belief. And it is going to be offensive, yes. Sinead's career slowed after that moment, but it didn't stop her from inspiring countless artists and maintaining a lasting effect on the music industry.